right, Algebra 1, Lesson 26. This is on more complicated equations. So it gets a little bit more complicated. This time we're going to have x's on both sides. Okay? okay? So, for example, 3x minus 4 equals 5x plus 7. Okay. Our whole goal is to get x's on one side, numbers on the other, okay? But do you see this 3x and this 5x? Yeah. We have to keep those numbers with the x for now. But at the very end, we'll move them over like we did the other numbers, okay? But for mm -hmm. now, our goal is to get the x's over here and then just the plain numbers by themselves over here. So, um, let's leave 3x here, think. And let's take this positive 5x, and when we move it across the equal sign, it becomes a negative. So I get 3x plus a negative 5x. And then you can move equals minus 4 over to the other side. So we're done with this one. Okay? And then this minus 4, we move it across positive the equal four. sign, it becomes positive 4. So 7 plus positive 4. Got it? Mm -hmm. So we're done with that one. All right, now we've got x's on this side with numbers, we'll have to do with that in a minute, and then just numbers. So let's go on and answer just the numbers. Seven and four is 11, okay? And then three plus, three X plus a negative five X makes a negative two X. You're gonna subtract, take the sign of the biggest number, negative two X. Now, this says negative two times X. Yeah. So we wanna get the X by itself, so this times negative two divided becomes by. divided by negative two. And that is your final answer. X is 11 over negative 2. Got it? Or negative... You wouldn't do the problem? <clears throat> no. Once you get it into a fraction form, okay. you're good. Okay, now the decimals, you need to keep going for to end with a decimal number. Okay. So this is negative, negative 11 half. Okay, so what the answer is. All right, let's go on and do a few more of these. 3X minus 4 equals 5X plus seven. Did we just do this one? Ha! Huh. They wrote the same problem twice. Okay, we're skipping that one. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Okay, let's do the next problem. Three X plus two minus X plus four equals negative five. That's a long one. Yeah, it is. Minus X minus four. Now, this may look, oh snap, it's so confusing, okay, but it's not if you take it step by step. First thing I would do is make my x's a one x, because when you have one x, just an x, it's one x. Yeah. Okay, again, one x. Okay. <laughs> um, do you want to bring all the x's on this side? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can do it on that side at this time. Uh, just bring it to the left. Okay, so that means I want to take this one, this one's already here, and then this one needs to move over. So this, minus 1x, Positive 1x. is going to bring over here. So I've got my 3x plus, I've got my negative 1x plus, and then my negative positive 1x over here becomes a positive 1x, right? Yep. So we're done with that one. I'm going to want to erase it like that so that we're done. Equals. Okay, so we're done with that and that. Now I've got two and four that are over here that need to be moved over here, right? Become negative two and negative four. So this would become negative two plus, bringing that four over, negative four. So we're done with that one and we're done with that one. And now we just have a negative five and a negative four. Okay, and I had to move it down here. Yeah, so don't get confused. Okay, so now I've got all my numbers on this side. Whoops. And all my x's with numbers on this side. And we'll get rid of the numbers again in just a second. So I'm done with that. We're done with that. Okay, now, let's go ahead and answer this. Um, 3x plus a negative 1x becomes 2x. 2x. And 2x plus 1x becomes 3x. 3x. Now remember, when you're adding, these x's are like monkeys. So 2 monkeys plus 1 monkey makes 3 monkeys. Remember that? Um, okay, <clears throat> equals... Negative 2 plus a negative 4. Negative 6. Would make a negative 6. Okay. Done with that part. Negative 6 plus a negative 5. Negative 11. Negative 11. Done with that part. 
negative 11 plus a negative 4, negative 15. Okay, so now it says 3x equals negative 15. And remember this 3x actually means 3 times x. And we want to get the x by itself and move this number and the times. So times 3 is going to move over here and become divided by 3. And you can write it like that or divided by 3, however you want to do it. Yeah, it gets rid of that. So then x equals negative 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And because we have 1, the answer is going to be a negative. It's an odd number. So negative sign. Final answer, negative 5. Got it? Yep. All right. Let's do a few more. All right. K plus 3 minus 4K plus 7 equals 2K minus 5. Okay. What should I do first? Uh, you should, for the Ks, make them 1K. Right. Let's go and change this to K. Since it is just 1K, we're going to make it 1. And then put all the Ks on one side and the okay. on Let's put all the Ks on one side. So this is a K, this one's a K, and this one's a K. So I'm going to put, pull these ones down, plus a negative 4K. Plus, when I take this 2K positive and move it over across the equal, it becomes a negative 2K, right? Yeah. Good. Now, <clears throat> I'm done with that. I'm done with that. All right. Now I'm going to take my 3 plus 3 and bring it over and it becomes a minus 3. But I'm going to want to move this negative 5 down first. Um, and so now I'm going to take this plus 3 and become a minus 3. And this plus 7 becomes a minus 7. See that? Yep. Okay. So I'm done with those. So that makes me done. Okay. So now it's negative 5 minus 3 minus 7. And these minuses are going to become plus negatives. Remember that rule? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we've got k's on one side and numbers on the other. Okay. So now 1k plus 4, negative 4k becomes negative 3k <coughs> plus a negative 2k. Which becomes negative 3 plus a negative 2 becomes a negative 5k equals... Negative 5 plus negative 3 makes negative 8 plus negative 7 makes negative, oh, positive, no, negative 15, right? Yep. Okay, so a negative 8 plus a negative 7 makes a negative 15, all right? Now remember, we're trying to get the k by itself, so negative 5 times k, and we want to get the k by itself, so we're going to take this times negative 5, and when we move it across the equal side, we're going to divide by negative 5. Right? Okay, so let's look at these two negatives. And when you're dividing two negatives, um, because there's an even number, it's going to be a positive answer, right? And so then 15 divided by 5 is 3. So this becomes a positive 3, or just you can just put 3 like that. Thank you. Okay? <clears throat> All right. They're going to do a few more. So let me go on and do a few more just in case they come we come across something that's a little bit harder. All right, um, here we go. Negative seven in, plus three, plus two in, equals four in. Try to do this one on your paper so that you know what you're doing. Minus five, plus in, and see if you get the same thing I do. First step I'm gonna take is this in, I'm gonna make it a one in, okay? Then I'm going to take all my ends and bring them together and all my numbers and get those together. You can do the plus negative on the 5. Okay, we can do that first. Some people like to do that in the beginning and that's fine. Okay, so let's want to take <clears throat> this negative 7 and this positive 2 in, negative 7 in, positive 2 in, a 4 in, and a 1 in. That's where all my ends that I need to get on the left side. So negative 7 in, just brought it down, done with it, plus a 2 in, done with it. Plus, when I bring my 4 in across the equals, it becomes a, since it's a positive 4 in, it's so going to become a negative 4 in. Plus, my 1 in, when I bring it across, it's going to become from a 1 in to a negative 1 in. Okay, so I'm done with all that. Equals, now I need my numbers, so I need this plus 3 or a positive 3, and it comes over here and becomes a negative 3. I'm done with it. And then this negative 5 plus negative 5. Just bring down. We're done with that. Okay, we're done with all of them. So now let's do our ends. Negative 7n plus a 2n becomes a negative 5n. Plus a negative 2n plus a negative 2n. 
plus a negative 4n plus a negative 1n. I just brought everything down. Mm -hmm. So then negative 5n plus a negative 4n becomes a negative, negative 9n plus a negative 1n. Negative 10n. Negative 10n. All right, we're done with our n part for now. And then negative 3 plus negative 5 becomes negative 8. All right, so negative 10n equals negative 8. And I'm going to erase some of this so I have more room. Negative 10n equals negative 8. Now, this really says negative 10 times n. So I want to get rid, I want to get all my numbers on this side. So I'll leave my n alone. So the negative 10 times that part goes over here and it becomes divided by negative 10. Right? Mm -hmm. So then n equals negative 8 over negative 10. And because we have two negatives, it makes it negative positive. 8 divided by uh -huh, positive. And so that's just 8 over 10. And then when you reduce that, it will become uh, 2 of 1 to 8, 4 times 2 of 1 to 10, 5 times. Answer 4 fifths. Yep. All right, last one. Just in case there's something else. <clears throat> I'm going to do with a red marker. That blue one's way out of ink. 2x minus 5 plus 7x equals 5 plus 3x plus 10. All right. Um, I like Isaac's idea. Let's take this minus and make it a plus negative. Okay. And so then um, all my x's have letter numbers with them. So, okay. So I'm going to take this 2x, this 7x, and this 3x. So the 2x's are going on this side. The x's are all going on this side. So 2x plus my 7x plus my 3x. Right now when I bring it across it becomes a negative 3x. Okay. I'm done with all those. Now, I'm going to take and bring my numbers over here. So my negative 5 comes over here, and it becomes a positive 5. And then that one's done, and then I'm just going to bring these down, 5 plus 10. All right? And I'm going to add these. 7 plus, 7x plus 2x becomes 9x plus a negative 3x. So 9 minus 3 um, becomes 6, and it's going to be a positive. 6x equals 5 plus 5 is 10, and 10 plus 10 is 20. So it becomes 6x equals, um, make sure I got that. Yes, 6x equals 20. Okay, and so now remember this is 6 times x. So I'm going to put a times. Then I want my x by itself. So this times 6 comes over here and divides by 6. So then x equals 20 over 6. And you can reduce that. Uh, let's see, 2 will go into both of them. 2 will go into 20 10 times. 2 will go into 6 3 times. I believe that's as far as you can go, yes. So, 10 thirds, final answer. That is lesson 26. I did want to help you um, with uh, the very, this is practice letter D, and I do think this needs to be taught. So I'm going to want to do it with you. Okay, so this is D in your practice. It says 3P plus 7 minus a negative 3 equals p plus a negative 2. Now, <clears throat> I thought this needed to be taught because it does have negative numbers with these minuses and all this because that's kind of important for us to work on. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this p to 1p. And then the next thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to change all of my minuses and all these. So if you remember, this is minus, so we're going to change it to plus the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. And then this one is already a plus, so we're going to leave that as a negative 2. Okay? And if you want to, you can leave these in parentheses or you can erase the parentheses. It doesn't matter. And then you're going to do everything just like normal. Bring your 3p and your 1p. So 3p. And then when you brought this 1p over, it will become a negative 1p. Okay? So we're done with all our p's. And then now we take numbers. This 7 would become... A negative 7, this positive 3 become a negative 3, and then this negative 2 would just stay a negative 2. Okay, and you work it just like we work. 